Welcome to another episode of Gumtus Gizmos, where today, let me spin you a tale. Let me tell you of a, a story with... I'm just gonna tell you a story about when I was a kid. Ever since I was a wee tot, a wee tater tot of a grant, of a man, a boy, I loved to create things, to build with my hands. That's how I would learn. And it was about when I got to the age of 10 or 12 that I got into video games and video game design. I wanted to create my own, but the only software that I was comfortable with was my robotic software. Uh, hashtag humblebrag, I was on a robotics team for four years, two in middle school, two in high school. Boom. That's a nerdy thing to be proud of. Anyway, that's the only software that I knew how to program with, so I decided to make a video game on my robot. Uh, it's the first video, actually correction, the only video game I've ever created, so let's take a look at it. Now, the aim of this video game is I wanted it to be a different experience each time you picked it up. So there'd be randomly generated quests and stories and enemies that you'd have to fight through. So, let's take a look at World of Legends. Pretty cool, right? I named it that because, well, the two popular video games at the time were League of Legends and World of Warcraft, so... World of Legends. There you go. And then you get your choice to pick one of three avatars. You have your wizard, you have your archer, you have your knight. And I know they just look like stick figures, but hey, cut me some slack. I was 12, alright? This that took freaking forever to build. Anyway, after you choose your avatar, then you get your randomly generated quest, which, which will have one of three options. Or, which will have three parts in it. One, uh, item or a person you need to save. Two, the enemy you need to save it from. And three, the place where it is kept, the location of it. So, it could be like, save the princess from the dragon in the castle, or find the sword from the witch in the cave, or something like that. Right. Next, you move on to the map, which would again have randomly generated landscapes that you'd have to battle through. Alright, now that we have everything set up, let us play the game. And that is it. I, okay, I never finished the video game. In fact, you can barely even say I started it. We never got into any actual gameplay. But that's because, as a 12-year-old, I did not have the patience or the time for video game design. And as I told you before, I learn by building, by creating with my hands. So what if there was a way that you could create video games where you didn't have to code anything, where you could just draw your own video game and just use your imagination and your imagination alone? Now, usually for Gumptious Gizmo, I take an idea, then I build off of it and I showcase it, but and don't worry, there'll be some of that later in the video, but today I want to showcase something that someone else built, and this somebody is a company called Pixel Press, who has some awesome stuff. So, while researching uh, programming for a video game, which I'm getting into, I saw something called Bloxels, which is essentially this grid with colorful blocks that you place the blocks, and depending on what, what pattern you put them in, you can create your own video game just by taking a picture with your phone and using the app, the phone will scan what colors it sees and determine what kind of pattern you're creating. So if you put something blue down, that'll indicate that it's water. If you put like a red block, that'll mean that's an enemy or, or things like that. And I thought, that's just so cool because that is video game design straight from your imagination. You're building a video game, quite literally. And they also have their more popular app, uh, Adventure Quest for Adventure Time, where you draw your own platformer video game. And I thought that was so freaking cool, but why stop there? Why stop at a two-dimensional video game? Why not build a 3D video game straight from your imagination onto paper, onto video game world, tablet, I don't know. Imagine if you could just break out a graph paper, some pencils, uh, use your phone and your imagination to make your own video game. Imagine if you could just draw your own dungeon that you and your friends could play through with different puzzles and enemies to fight, where different colors and different symbols would mean different things throughout the game. Then after you create it, you could just take your phone or your tablet out, look at that image, and then the phone would scan that image and then create that 3D game over it. So I made this little demo that doesn't really work properly because I it took me a long time to even make that for what I think a fleshed out idea of my video game should be. So to create the 3D models in this video game, I made them with something called SketchUp, which is a free software that lets you create 3D images and it's really easy to use. So here you see it created like this 8-bit sort of style wizard. I also have like some enemies, uh, a chest walls, and then the phone will see what I'm drawing and with the different symbols and colors will know where I want things to be placed. So I just got home from the library, I was doing some studying, and 
Oh, by the way, this is not my desk. Uh, like all, like the dream catcher and all this cool stuff. No, this is my desk. I know, it's pretty lame, but I have a pretty nice looking box. Anyway, so before I went to the library, I was focusing on uh, making part this part for the the game thing. It's like a little treasure chest. And one of my roommates was watching me, and he seemed pretty interested in it. So when I went to the library, I asked him if he could uh, make some hinges on it. And when I got back, I saw this. Instead of hinges, he added the very artistic uh, a rifle man right there. That's just beautiful. Also, uh, this uh, Viking, it appears to be. And uh, also, oh, oh I, I forgot to mention. I, I, just, I just, you know, forgot to mention. He also made a uh, freaking dragon right there. A freaking dragon right right there look oh my gosh look at this poor guy some samurai on top of dragons to pay and all that is situated on top of a, uh, a Yu-Gi-Oh card I quit I quit how, how can I compete with something like that huh I quit oh and uh, by the way uh, he did all of this but he actually forgot to make the hinges on the box so now it's just a chest without hinges. No, it says I quit. It's over. So imagine in the future if video game design didn't require you to know complex coding languages like C++ or JavaScript. Imagine if you could just with your imagination, again I'm saying that word way too much in this video, create a video game that you and your friends could enjoy. Yeah. The end, I guess. In conclusion, video games, thumbs up for me. I don't know. Freaking, if you if you watch this long in the video, you know my point. I don't need to have some clever outro or witty comments. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this episode of Gumptious Gizmos. If you like this video, then I like you as a person. And I'm sorry it took this video so long to get out. I've been having finals in college and it's all stressful. But hey, I still make videos for you. <clears throat> Bye.